In this video, we'll demonstrate how to apply model-based reinforcement learning with reinforcement learning toolbox. We'll use the MBPO or model-based policy optimization agent introduced in 2022A to balance a catapult system. Unlike model-free methods, model-based reinforcement learning uses transitional models as a part of the training algorithm. For example, in addition to training the policy, the MBPO agent trains a neural network transition model of the environment using data or experiences collected from interactions with the real environment and stored in a memory buffer. The MBPO agent can also optionally train neural network models of the environment reward and its done signal if they are not known before training. The trained models are then used to generate additional simulated experiences. The generated experiences are used by a base agent, for example, soft actor critic, along with the experiences collected from the real environment to train the policy. Compared to model-free agents, the MPPO agent can be more sample efficient as you can use the generated data to limit the interactions between the agent and the environment. Now let's see how we can use the MPPO agent to balance a cutpole system. First, we define a cutpole environment. Then we construct an MPPO agent. This part consists of six steps. First, we create a base agent. You can use DDPG, TD3, or SAC for continuous actions and DQN for discrete actions. We use SAC agent as a base agent in this example. Then we need to construct a neural network transition model of the cutpole system. The transition model predicts the next observation given the current observation and the action. To deal with model uncertainty, the MBPO agent allows you to specify and train multiple transition models. These can be either deterministic or stochastic. In this example, we use three deterministic transition models, but you can use more. Let's look at how to create a transition model. First, we create a neural network with the desired architecture. The inputs for the deterministic transition network are current observation and action. The output is the next observation. After the network is created, we define a deterministic transition function using RL continuous deterministic transition function. We did the same steps for two more transition functions. Note that neural network architecture does not need to be the same across the transition functions. Next, we construct a reward function. You can use the true reward function if it is available. If you cannot access the true reward function, or the reward is too complex to compute, you can specify a neural network model you would like the agent to train inside RL continuous deterministic reward function. In this example, we use a true reward function. The agent can get more reward if the cut is closer to the original position. Next, we construct an isDown function. This function predicts the terminal signal given the current observation, action, and the next observation. Similar to the reward, you can use a true is done function if it is available. If you cannot access the true is done function, you can use RL is done function with your defined neural network. In this example, is done is true when the pole is more than 12 degrees from the upright position or the cart moves more than 2.4 meters from the original position. After you have created a transition model, reward model, and is done model, you can define the overall environment model with RL neural network environment. Now we define MBPO agent options. In this setting, the MBPO agent trains the environment model at the beginning of each episode using 15 mini batches from the real replay memory. Using the real sample ratio parameter, you can specify the ratio of real and generated experiences in each batch used by the base agent when training the policy. We use these settings to generate 2,000 trajectories at the beginning of each episode using the environment model. We also increase the generated trajectory length every 100 epochs as our environment model becomes more accurate. Finally, we construct an MPPO agent by specifying the base agent, the environment model, and the MPPO agent options. 
After specifying the training options, we can begin training the agent. After approximately 500 episodes, the training converges. Let's verify the trained policy in simulation. The policy is working fine. Now let's check one of the three transition models the MPPO agent trained to approximate the cut pole system. You can set which transition models to use here and call step method of the environment model to predict the next observation, reward, and is done signal. These four figures show each dimension of observation. Blue lines show ground truth values and orange lines show predicted values. As you can see, the prediction of the trained models are close to the ground truth values. This concludes MBPO agent demonstration.